How amazing would it be to become an Iron Chef? Welcome back to Get Connected. I'm your host, Con Jackson. Well, we're about to talk to one of the Iron Chefs, and his name is Mark Fioni, and he joins us right now live in New York. Mark, welcome to Get Connected. How's it going? Now, Mark, between you and I, how manly does it feel to be called Iron Chef? <laughs> I mean, there's not too many things that are more manly than iron, right? Well, Mark, one thing's for sure. Not only do we like your food, but we love your hairstyle. Does it give you special culinary abilities? Uh, well, you know, ever since I was a kid, I always had, uh, I guess you could say, a different kind of hairdo. You know, I had the, I had the tail. Um, you know, I had one of the baddest mullets you've ever seen. <laughs> I had dreadlocks at one point, I had bleached white hair, I mean, I, I always had something, I don't know, I've just always, I guess, done something different. And uh, I've had the mohawk for a while, and um, believe it or not, um, I'm kind of locked into it now. We just finished making uh, our logo for Mark Forgione, and um, oh. the logo is the mohawk, so now I gotta stick with it no matter what. Mark, not a bad dude to get stuck with, it definitely looks good. Now let's turn our attention to your true specialty, cooking. What recipes do you have for us? You know, we're doing this for the 4th of July, you know, and for me, 4th of July is about a couple of very important things. You know, you've got friends, family, drinks, and, uh, you know, of course, the Macy's 4th of July fireworks display that we do every year. Um, and, you know, once you get your friends in the backyard and you're having a good time, you know, uh, one of my favorite sandwiches is the sausage and peppers. And, uh, you know, what I'd like to show everybody is how easy it is to make your own sausage from scratch to make your own sausage and peppers. Um, so what you do is you start with a little fresh pork belly um, and this is, you know, for people out there, they get a little freaked out, like what is pork belly? All it is is fresh bacon, you know, before you cure it and smoke it. Uh, you cut it into cubes and you get it into the KitchenAid meat grinder. And then a cool little tip is uh, you actually take whole garlic cloves and uh, put it directly into the meat grinder with the pork. And what that does is it kind of disperses the garlic throughout the pork instead of just having like little chunks in there, you know, and uh, it gives you a little different flavor. Um, and the next time you're making a hamburger or even a meatball, um, if you're grinding your meat, try adding a clove of garlic and it's going to be like that little like, why does this taste so good kind of thing. Um, so you've got your garlic, you've got your pork, and now you're going to add your spices. Um, I like to use a little toasted fennel seed, a little cracked black pepper, uh, some scallions, green onions. Um, a little red pepper flakes, and I mean, I don't know if you like it spicy, I do, so I, uh, I have a heavy hand with that. And of course, salt. Don't forget salt. A lot of people, when they're cooking, especially from a recipe, forget the salt. Um, so now you've got your sausage patty here, and this is where you can go either direction. You can either form it into patties and throw it on the grill, in the pan, and do kind of like a free-form sausage type thing. Or if you want to get, uh, you know, kind of take it, I guess you could say, to the next level and really impress the people, is you get your sausage stuffer on and uh, you can make these beautiful uh, links. I mean, these look like right out of your local Italian store and uh, very, very, very easy to do. Um, your friends will be impressed. You'll get a little street credit the whole nine. Wow, this certainly is looking great, Mark. Here's the, this is my favorite part, all right? This is a spicy mayo. This is sriracha mayo. You take your cooked sausages, and then of course you need your peppers for the sausage and peppers. We do a little pickled peaches, pickled peppers, and pickled fennel, Let's say that five times fast. And then you've got your, like I said, at the end of the day it's a sausage and peppers, but it's something that they'll remember, and I guarantee you ask you for the recipe at the end of it. Well Mark, I just wish I could dive through the TV set right now, because that looks uber delicious. But as we wrap things up, I'd just like to ask you, what is the best part about being on the Macy's Culinary Council? Uh, I mean, you know, the chefs that I'm with, I mean, you know, it's people that I've looked up to my entire life. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we just recently had the photo shoot that was kind of like my welcome into it. And, uh, you know, to be sitting along with these kind of culinary legends is a, a very humbling experience. And Mark, as we wrap things up, congratulations on all your well-deserved success. And given that, what advice would you give to the rest of us living out our dreams? Uh, work hard. Put your head down, work hard, and, uh, you know, good things will happen. And maybe grow a mullet? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again, Chef, for joining us. Thanks, man. How would I look like in a mullet or a mohawk? Oh, yes, indeed. One thing's for sure, it wouldn't help me cook any better. We'll have to invite the Iron Chef over. Now, when we come back, we've got a big surprise as we wrap up the show.